Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 2x plus 6. And we're going to do this two ways. We're going to do a table of values and then graph those points. And we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's start with the table of values. We can choose any numbers, but I like to choose numbers that are going to fit here on the graph. So why don't we just say 1 when x is 1, 2 times 1 plus 6. That gives us 8. So we'll have 1 comma 8. How about 0? That's always good. 2 times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 6, that gives us 6. So we have 0 comma 6. And finally, negative 1. 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. Negative 2 plus 6, that's just 4. We could have done just two points, but I like to do three in case I make an error somewhere. I'll spot it pretty quickly. So now we can put these on our graph here. We have 1, 8. So x is 1 and y, that's 8 up here. Then we have 0, 6. So x is 0, y is 6. And then we have negative 1 for x and 4 for y. Negative 1, 4. And you can see they're all in a line. Let's put a line through those. Then we can put arrows to show that the line that goes to infinity. So we could put other points, other values for x, find the y and graph them, and they'd be on the line. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, b, that's the y-intercept, that's the 6 here. So we'll go over to our graph, we go to the y-axis, and it's going to intercept at 6, right there. So that makes sense. For the slope, it's helpful to think of this as 2 over 1, because then we can say rise over run. So we can come over here, and we can rise 1, 2, and go over 1. Likewise, we could go the opposite direction. We could go down 2 and over 1. Down 2 and over 1. You can see that all these points, they're right here on a graph. So we did this first part correctly. This is Dr. B with the linear equation, graphing the linear equation y equals 2x plus 6. Thanks for watching.